pagsabog ng bulkang Taal kaninang mag-aalas 3.30 ng madaling araw. Old female Chinese patient under investigation or PUI is... To and from Metro Manila shall be suspended beginning March 15, 2020. Good day everyone, so for this video, you are going to experience an online art exhibit of Group 1 BSIT1H of Bulacan State University. This art is made by the student under BSIT1H. All the people here is from BSIT1H. Disclaimer, this art exhibit video did not conduct any face-to-face -face activity. All the video was submitted in Google Drive. The following slides are the students that participate in this video. So just relax and enjoy this wonderful show. The painting is about the Al Volcano eruption. The Al Volcano is one of the most active underwater volcano in the Philippines. And it erupted in January 12, 2020. I choose to paint this because I want other people to be aware and reminisce what did happen that day. As you can see in the painting, rescuers do their job to save people's lives. But most of the animals, including horses, carabaos, and dogs, are left behind by their owners. Some of the animals didn't make it alive, but some of them are miraculously survived the natural disaster. We know that the people's lives are a top priority, but animals need it too. They need protection and assurance that they will be safe, but not all owners has a heart to do so. The owl eruption made a huge impact to the crops that the people left behind in Talisay, Batangas. Also, in the other barangays around the danger zone. Their vegetables, fruits, and even their pets. That helps them to plant and work easily are covered in mud and ashes. Even though tragic situation happens, Batangueño stays strong and have faith in God. They are moving on and they are still recovering for their loss in the past eruption. Hello there. I just want to share my artwork with you. It was during last year 2020 when the virus strike. Obviously, the world stops. Everything changed. It has led to a dramatic loss of human life. The pandemic has been affecting the entire food system. Border closures, trade restriction, and threat for luck, social protection, and access to quality health care. In other words, COVID-19 has affected day-to-day -day life and slowing down the global economy. In my artwork, I am simply showing you and make you feel that there's still hope. That we can still find ways to fight this virus. Vaccines may not yet be available. Thus, the emphasis is on taking extensive precautions such as extensive hygiene protocol like regularly washing of hands 
avoidance of face-to-face -face interaction, or social distancing and wearing of masks. With this, we can still protect ourselves from this virus. We must think the future of our environment. Only then can we protect the health, livelihood, nutrition of all people to fight coronavirus. In 2020, coronavirus has occurred all over the world. We stay home for almost one year to become safe. What is coronavirus? According to WHO, Coronavirus is a large family of viruses transmitting between animals and people that cause illness ranging from the common cold to more severe diseases such as the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or also known as MERS-CoV and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome also known as SARS-CoV. We stay home and safe to stop this pandemic and the real intention of this exhibit is to be aware, be safe, and look back what we can cure during this pandemic. Good day ladies and gentlemen, I'm Alexandra Daluna from BSI21H. I'm here to explain to you the reason why I chose this topic and what this painting is all about. I decided to draw a girl wearing face mask to serve as my subject in this particular painting. This is to remind us to wear face masks before going out of their home. This can be one of the examples to prevent the virus from spreading. During January or February 2020, there was a news that circulated about the coronavirus spread in the different countries. The World Health Organization declared that there was an outbreak and the Philippines is one of those countries who is infected. The first case we had was from Metro Manila, since Metro Manila has the biggest population in our country. And the virus is spread quickly. That's all. Thank you. This is my tribute to them. My painting is about a legendary Kobe Bryant with his daughter Gianna, who died on January 26, 2020. Kobe Bryant was among the passengers traveling on board the helicopter. The retired Los Angeles Lakers star Kobe Bryant, 41 years old, and his daughter Gianna died in a helicopter crash near Calabasas, California. Brian was on his way to the academy to coach his daughter when the helicopter crashed. Tributes from celebrities, politicians, and fellow sports stars have been pouring in, many people expressing shock at his sudden death. Moments of silence have been observed at basketball games across the U.S. Kobe Bryant inspired a generation of basketball players worldwide with his powerful skills and being a competitive fire. Gianna, better known as Gigi, had a promising youth career and a competitive personality that reminded everybody of her dad. The legendary Kobe Bryant will be remembered as one of the greatest players of all time. Good day everyone, I am Kim Flores from BSIT1H. And my artwork is all about Kobe Bryant. And tinawa ko yung artwork na to para magbigay ng tribute kay Kobe Bryant. And alam naman natin na si Kobe Bryant ay isa sa pinaka-influential na basketball player na nag-influence sa mga Pilipinong fan ng basketball. And karamihan sa mga Pilipino ay kilala siya dahil yung bansa natin ay Sobrang fan ng basketball. And kahit saan ka pumunta dito sa Pilipinas, ay makakita ng court. And tingin ko, si Kobe Bryant ang isa sa nag-inspired sa mga basketball player na patuloy na nangangarap upang masungkit yung kanilang trophy na sinusungkit. And ginawa ko yung artwork na to para magbigay ng tribute sa kanya dahil isa din ako sa fan ni Kobe Bryant na nalungkot nung namatay siya. And para sa kanya to. Ginawa ko din siya sa gitara ko para mabigyan pa ng ibang disenyo yung gitara ko at magamit ko pa siya kahit na nasira na siya. At binigyan kong buhay ulit siya para maging design din dito sa kwarto ko. We are all equal. We should never judge others for the way they look, for the way they speak. 
all people are born equal and nothing can change that. Narrow-minded thoughts like racism should have extinguished with the increase in educated people and the intermixing of various races. Still, sadly, such behavior is the blatant reality and shows no signs of toning down. Racism makes people feel sorry for, the, uh, for being a born certain way of having a particular skin color. Racism has no scientific explanation and the racist people are entirely ignorant about the feelings of the other human beings. No one can choose to be black, white, dark, fair, or anything in particular. God has made us and there is nothing such and there is nothing that should make us feel guilty for that. It is ridiculous and inhumane to make fun of people due to their cultural background or skin color. ABS CBN is the largest network in the Philippines. And this painting is about the ABS-CBN shutdown and to show support and defending press freedom. ABS-CBN was ordered to shut down both of their TV and radio networks on May 5, 2020. Several youths and celebrities were questioning the time of move, as the time was the peak of COVID-19 mm -hmm. pandemic. And ABS-CBN News gives one of the most credible information to the Filipinos during the times in May. Since ABS-CBN is one of the largest networks in the Philippines, they have at least over 110,000 workers who lost their jobs during the shutdown and the pandemic. Youths and celebrities pretend, and it became a trending on social medias like Twitter, with the hashtags and phrases, hashtag, no to ABS-CBN shutdown, hashtag, defend press freedom, and hashtag, mass testing now. The move of shutting down a network during a pandemic is a madness. This is the time where Filipino needs credible information and sources about the pandemic. Good day everyone, my name is Ashley from BSIT Watch. I'm here to explain to you what my artwork is all about. With all that is happening around the world, a lot of us can't help but feel anxious, depressed, tired, or even angry. The height of this pandemic, when those who promised to protect us from this crisis betray us from trying to remove our basic human right to speak. My artwork is to remind us that don't ever let anyone silence your voice. There might be people who will try to disqualify you from being seen and heard, but you don't have to listen to them. Show it boldness and let your opinion and voice be heard, because your voice is your power. It is your right to be able to do this. People may try to convince you otherwise, but you don't have to be silent. Whatever type of art it is, as an individual, it's our duty to use that aspect to influence, to speak up, and to progress within your own society. Nowadays, there are many students who have difficulties and struggling in online classes, especially we colleges. But we do not underestimate those low grades and levels. For me as a college student, now in the middle of this pandemic, I am struggling in online classes. It may be due to loss of internet connection, lack of devices like laptop to keep up with online classes, ability to understand teachings, and there are many more reasons why we have difficulties and having hard time on online classes. I just want to let the audience know that my artwork made reflects to us. As a college student who is struggling and unable to keep up with tasks, projects, and activities need to pass in time, and especially those having hard time in it. This artwork says that we should prioritize uh, students and consider their level of ability to keep up. We do appreciate our teachers' efforts. Yes, we do. We are all trying to keep up with online classes, both of students and teachers. But almost of the students honestly can't go through, only few of us can. So we should implement uh, academic freeze. Academic freeze will give the country time to have eff effective and efficient mass testing or mass vaccination. Not only in the hands of one, but for a collective and responsive system to push through this pandemic. As far as there are unprivileged 
students who are victims of a disordered system, an academic freeze is the most plausible option for students, teachers, and school administrators. It allows them to collaborate in helping our frontliners, assisting our local governments, and in helping our country to recover from this pandemic. No student should be left behind. Education is right, but crisis response speaks of valuing human lives. In this pandemic, we wake up with hot coffee or hot chocolate every morning and prepare to join the online class. We struggle studying because of the pandemic and we cannot go to school. We have difficulty in communicating each other because of the internet problems or in other scenario that our students and teachers didn't have the access to the internet and equipment. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle Andrea and Tostomo from the SIT1H. Everything about this year has been kind of unusual or extraordinary like the topic I have chosen to paint, 2020 California wildfire. Since the beginning of 2020, wildfire have burned more than 3.2 million acres in California, an area roughly the same size as Connecticut. It is the largest wildfire season recorded in California's modern history. I choose this topic because other people do not notice or they are not aware about this kind of incident that happened. And I want everybody to know and have knowledge about it because this is kind of alarming. We are not the only ones that are affected by this. It includes animals and plants. Also, the firefighters risk their lives in this kind of situation. And that's all. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Marius D. De La Cruz from BSIP1. Last year was the year that is totally different. It was full of suffering, pain, and loss. We didn't expect that it will happen. While we are still facing the problem with coronavirus, we have to face another problem, which are the typhoons that cause a lot of loss. I decided to choose this topic of my artwork because we have just experienced it in recent years and it is also unforgettable and a bad memories for everyone because of the damage it has done. Almost area in the Philippines has been submerged by the rapid overflow of floods and we can see only was the roof of their houses. It is sad to experience and remember such disaster, especially the horrid one. The typhoon Ulysses that take away a lot of lives, properties, and hopes. As you can see in my painting, I do paint the uh, above view of some area in the Philippines that have been affected by the typhoon and also a caring mother that prioritized her child's safety while in the middle of the storm. It is sad to see our kababayan in a situation like that. We cannot stop the typhoon but we should be aware and ready every time. We cannot stop the typhoon, but we should be ready and aware every time. Always prioritize your safety above all. Thank you. Hi, I am Erica Andy in Australia from BSIP1H. This painting that I made was actually from the idea of the statue of Lady of Justice. If you know the statue, you will see a sword, a scale, and a blindfold. And behind those things, it symbolizes something about justice. The sword symbolizes the enforcement and respect and means that justice stands by its decision and ruling. The scale symbolizes the obligation of the law or to weigh the evidence that is being presented to the court. And lastly, the blindfold which they say that it symbolizes that our justice system is blind for a person's wealth, power, gender, and race. So that's the idea of the statue. In my artwork, I decided to change some details about the Lady of Justice to show the sad reality behind the meaning of it. For me, our justice system is not always serving the right and fair justice to the people. It doesn't always act as what it should be and sometimes people realize that, that there is no justice when you're poor and it only serves the people who has power and are wealthy. So in my painting, I come up with the idea of covering her mouth instead of a blindfold that covers her eyes. 
This idea that I come up with has a purpose of opening one's eyes that life is really unfair, that it doesn't always take your side even though you're standing for what is right, especially when dealing with justice. I also made the background to look pretty and have calm colors to represent the contentment of the people about this idea. We all know that a lot of us, especially the people who doesn't have the power to fight for their rights, do not have their choice but to accept this sad reality. We have this mindset of letting things to just go with the flow, but deep inside in our hearts, we regret a lot about it. And we end up saying that, hayaan mo na, ganyan talaga ang buhay. On the other side of my painting, a bright moon is being painted. This is to show that even though things are rough, things are heavy, we should always look for the brighter side of life and to not lose hope in finding justice. Hello everyone, I am Mary Pauline Cortez from BSIT1. Regardless of age or gender, the impact of sexual violence goes far beyond any physical injury. The trauma of being raped or sexually assaulted can be shattering, leaving you feeling scared, ashamed, and alone or plagued by nightmares, flashbacks, and other unpleasant memories. You may question your judgment, your self-worth, and even your sanity. You may blame yourself for what happened or believe that you're dirty or damaged food. Relationships feel dangerous and they must see impossible. And on top of that, like many rape survivors, you may struggle with PTSD, anxiety, and depression. The artwork that I made is about a rape victim or sexual abuse victim who is ready to leave the past behind and ready to start a new life. The naked human body represents gracious movement courageous self -affirming. The human body should therefore be rendered not as ugly and from a lower order, wherein merely sensuality is playing a role in the establishment of meaning. The fire represents illumination, enlightenment, destruction, renewal, and spirituality. It means that she's starting to love herself again and ready to leave the past behind. And the culture of silence. Anyone may be a victim of sexual abuse or exploitation. We must all be vigilant and take up our citizenry duty to protect ourselves from harm. All of us may be a victim of sexual abuse or exploitation. Rape is a crime that not only takes hurt someone for a moment, but it shatters their entire life. If the victim is telling a lie, then the charge rapist may pay the price of a crime he did not do. However, if the victim is telling a lie, truth and the authorities still can find out about the situation, the accused person were still out there and acting like we're innocent. Rape can have profound and long-lasting psychological effects on victims. Victims may feel intense shame, fear, and rage. Losing the part that you treasure the most can be very devastating and this kind of situation can be forgotten. If only the world was built with pillars of love and happiness. Everyone will know the meaning of true goodness. Instead, our free will to do what we want allows these evil things to torture the hearts of their victims. And the law made today make it somehow more frightening. In this world, the victims are guilty until proven innocent and the doers are innocent until proven guilty. There are rumors that the cause of rape is based in how women wear revealing clothes but does not give you a privilege to do something less for action so as you can see the background of the painting was color black which depicts depression also it's expired foundation that covers the color of the body the woman like this the blindfold signifies the judgment of each individual. The tape that is attached to her mouth represents silence. That's all. Pleasant day to everyone. I am Joey and as you said, we're from the SIT one page. I'm going to explain my idea. So this is the artwork that I made, which is very memorable to me. And this is the highlighted situation that we made last week. Thank you. So first is the Black Lives Matter and the police brutality. So I nice to make a statement on Black Lives Matter and I work for justice. Over the last couple of months, a global anti-racist movement has so much to fight 
against police brutality and institutional racism. We do need to go too far to see discrimination of indigenous people and other people of color within our society. This is our chance. This is our moment to talk about justice and to make radical changes. We need to open a system that is still to give us justice and which has killed many innocent lives. And we need to remember that no one should be treated differently than the law enforcement because of their race, gender, sexual orientation, religion, political views, and ethnicity, but everyone has the right to equal treatment under the law. Next is the girl in the middle that represent us, the people, during quarantine. It's been months or almost a year that all of us have been confined to our homes. And the way we are operating is different from what has been happening for years. The COVID-19 has left a significant impact on human behavior. The lockdown restrictions and highly contagious virus have got the entire world to stand still. The child stuck at home with no exposure to new environment and new people, and the closure of schools that will have a considerable impact for the child's growth in the long run. This pandemic has affected in many ways and we need to focus on our mental health and motivate the people around us to be positive. And always remember that be empathetic, take care and make this world a better place to live. That's all we need. Nung bata pa ako, si Brad Ellie na ang aking napakitinggan. Ako'y lumaki sa loob ng Iglesia Lulus. Marami akong natutunan at naunawaan sa kanyang pangangar. Marami akong pwedeng piliin na iguhit, ngunit siya ang aking naisip. Siya ang naging inspirasyon kung bakit ako ganito. Ang aral na kanyang pinangangaral ang aking pinanghahawakan. Pag ako'y naihirapan, imbis na sumuko, ay inaalala ko ang kanyang pinagdadaanan at paghihirap na kanyang dinadanas. Gaya ng pagkakasabi niya, pag ikaw ay may problema, ang, ang tanging solusyon ay sahig at tuhod. Manalangin ka at ikaw ay kanyang diringgin. May awa ang Diyos. Lahat ng aral na aking naunawaan ay aking pangahawakan. Hanggang sa aking huling hininga. Sabi sa ikalawang Timoteo 4.6, sapagkat ako'y inialay na, at ang panahon ng aking pagpanaw ay dumating na. Kaya tanggat buhay pa ang inyong mahal sa buhay, pakita nyo at ipadama ninyo kung gaano nyo sila kamahal. Pagkat hindi natin alam ang kinabukasan kung tayo ba ay buhay pa. Hello everyone, my name is Robic Ivan B. Bonsuceso from BSIT1H. I'm here to explain what is my artwork all about. First, you can see the world in this artwork. It represents our world and our prestigious home. The color beneath the world is negative and positive. Our world which negative is greater than positive right now in our world. To be frank, it is a reality. The gadgets in this artwork represents the people may communicate in just a split second, but it is the way the people right now can possibly live without these gadgets or cell phones. This computer acts as the technology that started this new era of technology which changed the way of who we are and what is the future reality is. Buildings is the foundation of our economy that guide the people who is lower what they see in the window of the building. The people standing in this art, it is what we are. It stands above this world that can do everything in this world. People change the world because of these things. Because of these things in the painting. Then create and they upgrade to be a better future ahead of us. This is not just in this past 2020, but all of this time it is under the era of technology. Thank you. 
thank you for your time just to watch our online exhibit. Always remember that we, people, are the best art created by God that He loved the most. Again, thank you for watching our online exhibit. Take care and God bless.